going to show you guys a uh, software and well, let's start with this. This is a Canon Canon um, LIDE 210. This image was scanned in there. Now it was a small image. Um, they had some water marking here from the person that took the image right here. Um, very bland, um, just flat. Uh, just it's just got nothing going on. So what I did was simply load it into the Let's see if I can find this software for you. Portrait Pro Studio. Automatically do this. Um, I have a preset, Julie here, and I didn't change our face profile here. It's it's the same. Now all it does is you get to add, you know, uh, lipstick if you will, um, gloss, things like that. It's got some great settings right here for you. I really like it. Look at the eyes, the eye controls. Now watch your eyes here. I'm going to grab this, this marker here. I'm going to pull it. Watch your eye. You can see what it can do there. Just a hair. Release it. Um, that's the iris and that's the iris there. It centers off of that. Where does that come in handy is, um, well let's just go to skin lighting. This is cool. Watch the image here. This is this before and this is the after. I can grab this lighting and, and create all types of effects. Mood lighting, shadow, you know, you can you can do a lot of things with the lighting instead of looking at the image to the left where it's just bland again. It's just straight, flat lighting. Just, just get all the lighting on there. Um, so this, watch the nose. You know, you can create a Rembrandt lighting. Rembrandt. You can do a lot of things with this lighting. I mean, you can bring it down on the face too. Um, and. You know, you can really get some depth going on. It's much better depth. It's all I've changed, you know. It's all I've done. I've got a preset here, so I click this preset, and that jumps there. So here it is over here. Click the preset. It will give me all load that up for that. Um, um, here's your gum line. I just receded it just a little bit. Um, nothing special. The teeth, I, you know, I let them go a little white. Um... Now we scroll down. Let me show you something else. This is lighting. So we've got your kicker lighting. Uh, left kicker has to be a cheek. See, I don't get anything out of that. Right kicker. That, that would give a nice little brighten up over there. It's kind of cool. You could do a little a touch of right kicker. Um, you got your smoky eyes going on, which is your, you know, which she doesn't have over here on your left. This gives it a little bit of, a little bit of, uh, Mascara, mocha, mascara, if you will. Um, palette is at 30. Uh, you can see 30 is not much. So zero. 30 is here. Click it again. 30. Yeah. Uh, all right. You got your eye controls, which are kind of badass, kind of cool. Um, you can do things like, uh, let's see, that's 53, right? So you can widen an eye. Um, whiten eyes, rather. So we whiten them. Um, clean eyes, whiten area, um, pupil darkening, um, it's kind of cool. Um, I see the eyes, so there we go. We've got darkened pupil size, so I'm going to lighten it. Lighten it gives it the uh, different effect around her own eye. Um, sharpening eyes, sharpen eyebrows, you don't need that iris. So you got going on there. Just put it around there to get lighten up the eye a little bit, give it a little more detail. Still the same person's eye. Um, the lighting just brings it out. You, know, you can get the lighting a lot better. All right, I don't want to do things like control her mouth and nose. Let's see. Um, dismiss. Let's see if I can show you something. Nose, twelve. All right, so by default it went to 12 that I had it at. I mean, because of the preset. All right, hair color, etc. So now after I'm finished with that, I then moved it into Lightroom. In Lightroom, I then touched on the eyes. I then um, cropped it, and I put a vignette on it. 
ultimately we have oh, I, I, oh gosh let's go back here like this ultimately I have um, hold on ultimately we have these choices let's go through them okay so that's a white vignette the eyes are so so this next one is a black vignette Here's the eyes are the same. Um, now you can see the eyes change on this one, which it's just much, much, uh, you know, eyes or something else. Uh, but if you don't have the other one to compare against, look at the look what happened there. Look at the cheek. Terrible. Terrible. So this was just other versions of it, playing with temperature, vignetting. Ultimately, let me look at the original. I have it in my hand here. Um, ultimately, it's just too red, yeah, too cool. And now we're getting much better right here. These are the shots. These last, this, these last guys here, and I think it was going to be this one will be the ultimate one that works. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, again, that's Candle Scare, Candle Scan uh, LID 210. It's a flatbed scanner that scans digital digital images. Um, we have Lightroom, and then we export this image as a, um, a larger image, upsizing it. I do have access to the larger image, and we remove their their uh, watermark down here, which he paid for all the images. Um, but the person left a watermark on there. So it's it's her image. Um, I don't know what else she's got going on, but uh, she was not happy with it. Um, couldn't do anything with this. This is his lighting. Um, okay, moving on and killing this video. Take care.